What's up YouTube, Guzman here, and we just finished our week of Akatsuki, so I'm here to show you guys some swaggy combos that are completely unnecessary, but look really cool. On top of that, I'm also going to be showing you guys some more optimal combos, in case you guys don't feel like trolling. And finally, I'm going to close it off with giving you guys uh, my opinion on Akatsuki, as well as some of his weaknesses and strengths. So, let's jump into it. Alright guys, so let's start off with one of Akatsuki's grab combos. Um, this combo involves whiffing two Tatsu kicks, and fair warning, this combo is not good. Uh, the damage is not good, it is purely for swag and to style on your opponent. Besides that, I do not recommend it at all. Okay, so for this combo, all you have to do is start off with the grab, and it's fairly simple once you learn the timings. All you have to do is learn the timing of the 8 Tatsu, and the combo is fairly simple. Uh, but just keep in mind, looking at that damage, 4955, it's extremely low. You could do any other Akatsuki grab combo, and it'll be doing more damage than that. Alright, so for this combo, it ends with B Tatsu, so you can end it pretty much however you'd like. You can do uh, EX Tatsu, supers, call your assist, whatever. Um, let me just give you a small example of what you can do. Just keep in mind, of course, this is very heavy scaling, so it's not necessarily worth it to do all of this. Damage is very, very low. Alright, now that we got the swaggy combo out of the way, I can show you guys the more optimal combo. Um, this is the one that you actually want to do. It does a lot more damage and it corner carries, so let's get into it. Okay, so same as before, you start off with the grab. This one is very simple. Very simple, very straightforward, and it does more damage. So same as before, this combo ends with B Tatsu. So again, you can end it however you like. EX, Tatsu, Super, Assist, whatever you want. Uh, let me just show you guys again a quick example of what you can do. So this is definitely the one that you want to use. Shit, I dropped it. <laughs> but you guys get the point. Alright guys, time for the swag corner combo. Uh, this combo involves just doing a butt ton of tattoos. Um, the damage is not bad, but it's extremely difficult. Especially online, and uh, I don't recommend it. It looks really cool. The damage is okay, but again, you could do another easier combo that does more damage. So let's get into it. So the combo is four Tatsus, does 6827. Um, again, it's not bad, but it could be better, and it's fairly difficult so this combo is more just for swaggy doing a bunch of tattoos on your opponent and uh, just making it look cool all right guys we're back in corner town and time for the more optimal easier Akatsuki combo that does about a hundred more damage but execution wise I think this one's a lot easier Alright guys, it's time for the legendary 5 top 2 combo. Uh, you can only do this one in the corner. Fair warning, this one is extremely difficult. It requires uh, knowing the timings of all of the Tatsus. And it looks extremely cool, but again, not the best in terms of damage. Shoutouts to the homie, Spongy Demigod. I would not be able to have done this one without him. Alright, so best tip I can give you guys for that one is delay the first A Tatsu. Besides that, this combo just takes a long time to get used to. Again, the damage is not the best, but it looks really, really cool. Alright guys, so that's it for his combos. Now let's talk about some of his strengths and weaknesses, and what I personally think about Akatsuki. 
All right, guys, so let's talk about some of Akoski's strengths. So, one of the things that I think is really good with Akoski is uh, his BB's corner carry. So, you can do a very simple combo and take your opponent to the corner. And, like you guys know, putting your opponent in the corner is a very, very good thing. All right, another big advantage Akoski has is his B Tatsu and C Tatsu. Both of them have fairly good damage and allow him to get combo extensions. Not only that, but it also gives him a good ability to lock your opponent down, get some nasty active switching, as well as some unblockables, as the last hit of his Tatsu kick is a high. Alright, let's talk fireballs. Akoski's B fireball is extremely fast, as well as his EX shooting out multiple fireballs. Uh, this is a great tool for any character to have, and it's fairly reliable and very good tool to have. Alright, another good thing about Akoski is that he has very high damage, especially in the corner. He can do very simple combos that do a lot of damage and require no meter. Alright, another great thing about Akoski is that he has the ability to use all his meter in one combo, so that makes him a great anchor with a lot of damage. Alright guys, so now let's talk about some of his weaknesses. One of the things that I didn't really like about Akoski is that his auto combo makes him airborne. So that really limits your options when it comes to converting off of that. And really only leaves you to do a beat top 2 right after. Alright, another thing about Akoski that I didn't really like is I felt like his neutral was not the best. Not horrible, but again, not amazing. As well as his anti-air being a little funky for me personally. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You guys enjoyed the combos. Uh, for me, I really enjoyed Akoski. Uh, I think he's really fun. I think he's really hype. He chestles people, so that's really cool. Um, and I definitely recommend him. I give him a chest oh, out of 10. So uh, yeah, I definitely recommend him. Uh, I think he's very good and fairly easy to use. Um, especially for beginners out there. So thank you guys for watching again. Um, we're going to be doing Adachi next. So look out for the week of Adachi and uh, a combo video on him on some uh, cool swaggy combos that I find. So thank you guys for watching. Check me out on Twitch. Check out my Twitter and uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.